Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to give you a brief overview of how to change the look and feel of your Fastoast e-commerce package. So to start I'm logged into my Fastoast control panel and I need to log into my package. So I'm going to go to website builder and the package I'm going to be working with today is this top one here an example domain.co.uk which is an e-commerce expert package but this is the same for all the e-commerce packages. So we're going to log we're going to log into the edit website part of here. If you want to jump straight to your shop you can do but I'm going to go to the edit website and this is going to take me into the sort of the front end of my website design. So this is basically what my customers are going to see. So I've already built a store here, I've built my little fruit and veg store. Uh, I've got my uh, my main hero image there. Uh, my shop is just loading because the image is a little high res. So here we go. So these are the items I've got for sale. So there are two things we need to look at here. We need to look at how do I change the sort of this part of it, the, the shop, the shop layout, and how do I actually change the look and feel of the actual website itself? So we'll start with the website itself. This is going to be things like your uh, your text that you use, so things like your fonts and that sort of stuff. So if we go to design at the top here, the first thing I would say before you click on anything on this page is just make a note of what your current theme is, because if you click on any of these and then you click done or back it's going to be left on whatever you clicked on last so make sure you know which one you started with if you want to go back so any of these we can just change these and this is going to see you'll see in the live preview here what it's going to do to my website some of it won't make too much difference if we click on this one it's going to change quite a lot it's going to change a little bit of the tone of the image and the, the color of that link there for example so you can do all of that. So that's going to um, you can live preview it in that pane there and see which color theme you want. If you want to pick a custom one, you can do too. Now, these are all presets, so they've already got the, the font set out for them and everything. But if you want to pick your own, we're going to go to customize here and we can pick our own custom color palette or we can uh, say you've got the presets or you can pick every single one of the colors if you want and also we can change our fonts ourselves as well again we've got presets that we can choose here or we can go customs into the custom and change the headings and paragraph to whichever font we want but i'm not going to change anything too drastic here so i'm going to go back to designs and i'm just going to stick with my current design for now so that's how you change the sort of look and feel of your front end website next up let's have a quick look at how we actually add some things in so if we wanted to add in a little bit of content here we might want to add some text in here we might want to add some some of our own images any of that um so if you want to add it edit something that's already there there's the appearance tab or the appearance option on the left hand side here and we can change uh, change the order uh, we can click this plus to add content in between this image and my store widget there so if we click in here, we've got lots of different things we can add in. So some presets of images, text, all of that. Or we can literally just do it ourselves. If we go to, let's close that. If we open our little widgets in here, we can add our own widgets in as well. So if I just want to add in a bit of text above there, for example, I'm just going to drag it across and you'll see as I'm dragging it, it's, there's areas going blue and that's where that is going to land on the page so if we add that in here we can see that is now it's now created a little section in between my image and my website and if we click on there you can see paragraphs and headings and that's all of that sort of stuff is where we that's where we choose the uh, fonts and things in design that's how you edit all of that so that's how we do the front end of our website let's have a look at how we actually change what's in our shop widget because at the moment this is all a little bit big and i want to make it a bit smaller so if we go head over to our shop and once that's loaded from here we can go to design and here we can see image size large well i'm gonna have that as small uh, and you'll see in the live preview what that's going to kind of look like within that widget in on the page uh, you can change the aspect ratio so you could change it to be square any of that that you want to do uh, we'll just change it to that for now uh, and then you can go through and change sort of how the con how you want the content to align so how it lists and also when you actually click into a page uh, you're these this is what you're going to see for that item 
so you can change the look and feel of the pay, the product page once a customer clicked into it so anything within that widget is managed on that this design section of the configuration so if we go back to our website now and we should see hopefully it just takes a second to load just because like i say my images are quite high resolution which isn't a good idea if it takes long for me it will take long for my customers but i just haven't optimized my images and we can see here a lot more manageable now a lot more a lot easier to browse through and like i said before if we click on carrots for example oh no i've got to go on to actual main website for that but if we go on to uh if we just publish that quickly and i'll just show you the main product page okay so if we go to my main website so this is the live website now that the customers will see and as i can say it will just take a second to load there just because my images are a bit large so if we click on carrots on this one well we can see the carrots page now so i like showed you in the uh in the editor to change the layout and and everything of this particular page you would do that for, from within the store settings rather than the front end editor and that's it for this video Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.